Africa, across the Serengeti, happens the Great Migration. Millions of wildebeest, zebra, and gazelles will travel across the continent. Over three million animals on the move. But there's another great migration over uh, thousands of miles away in Alaska, maybe even greater. Tens of millions of sockeye salmon will run the rivers back to their native habitat in Bristol Bay, Alaska. These nine rivers produce some of the best fishing in the world. These five districts are also of the site of migration of thousands of fishermen, commercial fishermen, who will fish the number one salmon fishery in the world. In 2022, Alaska harvested, harvested over 160 million salmon, and over 70 million of those were sockeye salmon landed in Bristol Bay. These dedicated fishermen and fisherwomen will fish 16 to 20 hours a day using various fishing methods in small boats of 30 to 32 feet, and they'll handle every single fish. These fishing vessels will offload the tenders who work 24 hours a day and hold the salmon in refrigeration until it's time to deliver the product to shore-based processing facilities where the fish are cut and packed either frozen or fresh. Fresh fish are air shipped in insulated boxes to distributors around the world to ship to restaurants and stores where the highest quality fish sell for the premium prices. But Bristol Bay is a high volume fishery. How do you maintain high quality in such a high volume fishery? Well, good handling is important. Time and temperature are critical. Pressure bleeding, slush ice, uh, all these are good fishing, good fish handling practices and are critical to high quality. But poor quality will lose sales and lower prices. So fresh or frozen, quality is the key. And high quality fish will sell for premium prices. But how do you determine high quality? You can do a temperature check. But how do you know that fish was always kept cold? And how do you know that fish is really good quality? You can use sensory evaluation, which is time consuming and takes an expert to really do it well. And then how do you check quality in Bristol Bay? Well, introducing the Certified Quality Reader or CQR 3.0. The CQR has been use, in use in Bristol Bay for the last four years. It is the new way to measure quality. The CQR uses something called biological impedance analysis. It's non-invasive and objective and fast. It uses a small device which goes to a Bluetooth app uh, which goes to a BI dashboard. It's only three ounces. It's water resistant, uh, non-destructive to the fish. It's safe to touch uh, with an offline mode and only uses one AA battery which will last at least four months. This reproduces reports in the BI dashboard which are anything from quality by day or quality by tender, or what's the quality of, among the different various boats. You can look at quality by chill type, or by region, or by the number of fish bled. It is the new objective way to measure fish quality, the Certified Quality Reader 3.0.